if you have an older motorhome or van that you are looking to upgrade your fridge from one of the older three-way absorption fridges to a new 12 volt compressor fridge then this video is for you i'm going to talk through how we did it and what you need to uh, know about the electrics when you do that uh, so to start off with uh, most three-way absorption fridges uh, in the older vans, the way that they work is that they have three ways that they run. So usually uh, they have an LPG option, uh, which obviously uses your LPG gas. Uh, and then they have a 240 volt uh, mains AC option. So when you have an electrical hookup, then they run on that. And then the third option is that they have a 12 volt um, uh, option to power them, which uh, the way that it's traditionally wired in into your motorhome is that there's a line that comes from your ECB so from the electrical uh, system to the fridge but that line is only activated when the engine's running and it's usually on a relay or a split charge or something along those lines um, and, and it only gets power from the engine battery when your vehicle is actually running now it's important to note with a three-way absorption fridge is that they are not very efficient running off 12 volts so when they run on the 12 volt option running off the engine battery uh, that's possible because your your essentially your engine battery is as long as you're alternate is working there's unlimited uh, resources there while the engine is running but it would not be advisable to run an absorption fridge directly off a 12 volt leisure battery and we've had guys that have bought our batteries in the past and tried that and even with a very high capacity lithium battery uh, the uh, absorption fridges are very hungry and very resource intensive when it comes to running off 12 volts so it would not be advisable to try and run an absorption fridge directly off a leisure battery it needs to really be run off the engine where you don't have the limitations of, of your battery running out now if you are looking to upgrade your uh, fridge from an absorption fridge to a compressor fridge uh, what you need to know is that you will probably essentially do away with the line that comes from your engine directly to your uh, fridge so the old 12 volt line that would have run your fridge while your engine was running usually what we would do in these circumstances is essentially cut that wire terminate it and it would not be used uh, for your new compressor fridge what we would then do is to run a new wire that comes directly from the leisure battery uh, to the fridge and uh, the comp compressor fridge would essentially just run continuously off the leisure battery now it depends what compressor fridge you go for uh, some compressor fridges are fairly smart in that they will automatically switch between AC and DC so if you wire your fridge into your your 240 volt uh, system in your van so essentially you just splice it into the electrical hookup line um, that comes from that then essentially your fridge will just choose between them depending on which is available so if 240 volt is available it'll run off that and obviously if it's not available then it'll run off the 12 volt so that's quite a nice thing to have because uh, like in my van I have an older three-way absorption fridge and I always have to choose between them and I constantly forget so we'll do like a long drive and I'll have it on the 12 volt option and then I'll forget about it and we'll have parked up somewhere and a few hours later I'll remember or the next morning I'll be like uh, I didn't change the fridge over and it's been awful all night that sort of thing so uh, when you're putting in a new compressor fridge uh, you'll just wire that directly to your leisure battery so here's a video of how uh, we have the setup in my dad's van my dad has a 1994 fiat ducato based Euromobile, and we recently put in a compressor fridge into that and this is how we wired it in we come from the battery to a fuse we then go up and split to two isolators one for the load and one for the charge go to another fuse just to be safe you can never have too many fuses and then we come to a little mini bus bar <clears throat> that takes off to uh, the original habitation electrics and also to um, our inverter the thick cable goes to the inverter we have one cable that goes to a little mini fused bus bar that uh, we take off a distribution board we take off and the one on the left the thick cable on the left is the one that goes across to the fridge and that runs the fridge we also have a little common mini bus bar for all of the uh, negative stuff the thick one again this thick one here goes to the 
invert it <coughs> and that also goes to a common bus bar. This cable, this uh, shunt here is actually for the fridge and uh, the purpose of that is so we can measure exactly what the fridge is using just because we want to know. It's not something that you would normally install but in our case we wanted to be able to know exactly what the fridge was using. So one other thing to note with the compressor fridges is that depending on which option you have, um, the one that my folks went for uh, in their motorhome which was one of the Dometic fridges, I can't remember exactly the model number but I'll link the video that we made about it, we did a kind of a review of it uh, recently, I'll put that link down below, but uh, their fridge uh, used around 30 amp hours of power per day and that was on this previous summer that we had here in the UK which was one of the hottest summers on record and so that was in like temperatures of high 30s 40 degrees somewhere around there so 30 amp hours of consumption per day is quite quite an efficient fridge uh, for how well it was cooling things so definitely a good efficient way of going and as long as you can replenish that power it's definitely a good option to have and it's nice to have sort of a single source of power to be able to power your fridge rather than swapping uh, between 12 volt 240 and uh, LPG like the absorption fridges do but there we go hopefully this video has been helpful if you have any questions or comments or if you need any advice then reach out to us drop a comment in, in the description down below but yeah thanks for watching and we will see See you guys in the next video. Cheers.